Well, I'm out collecting again. It's a rainy day today, which is probably a better day, better day to be collecting. Um, as you can maybe see right behind me there, there's sort of under power lines. I'm tracking uh, right above the road here, so you can hear the highway sort of in the background. Uh, but yeah, I'm just above these sort of power lines, and uh, you know, I came across this, which is just you know, it's a huge ponderosa, super long needles. Um, you know, the company had come in and taken it so it didn't grow into the. Uh, power lines uh, really nice movement though. I mean you look at this uh, Comes up around and back uh, Maybe even better from this side But it is in there. I mean you I move in the tree, but I'm not moving any of the roots So uh, but the vigor on this is just amazing. Look at that it's candles um, So I'm going for uh, Going for these, I, I want to say these are trembling aspens just because of the white whiteness, and there is a sort of one in the background there. Although my, you know, my poplars aspens, that whole varieties I have uh, and aspens, I really don't know my species very well. But what you can see, and and I mean, you just look at this. Uh, what's unique about these trees is they're all actually connected, so it's actually one tree. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, and I know they have a lot of dieback, so I'm. Not sure how great they'll make for bonsai, um, but uh, yeah, you can just see like they grow really flat roots. And because I'm on a lot of rock here, um, you can see it's gonna be pretty easy to take out. Well, for today's hike, uh, wasn't much of a hike. Sort of flat, just above the road, uh, under some power lines. They've been chopping a bunch of them um, as usual, so these trees would eventually, eventually die anyways. But uh, like you know, this is just some a little bit of an experiment for me. I'm hoping these are some uh, trembling aspens. Um, got quite a few. I'll show you when I get back, and uh, yeah, hopefully I can make up. I've got this image of this nice uh, sort of bankment with these aspen trembling aspens, partly from my childhood, partly something I saw uh, three weeks ago when I was driving. So uh, we'll see what I can do. So I got quite a few today, as you can see. Uh, bagged them all up. Uh, really easy to collect just super flat roots um they were on an old old road that had been abandoned and uh, under some power lines and uh so the roots came out really flat but also the species right they they actually it, they become one tree and so they grow these roots out and then shoot another uh tree out and so that it actually is one tree um you know so i'm going to plant these up i got a few different ideas uh, i'll show you when i'm done so I just whipped together this little uh, bonsai bench, um, placed it sort of amongst the sort of the backdrop of my shed. Um, got this in a nice, uh, nice bonsai pot that I had uh, actually purchased in Vancouver. I think it was ten dollars or something. So very cheap bonsai pot, but uh, you know, nice just to not be working with my cement ones. Um, and like I said, I'm hoping this is a trembling aspen I think it is this one's got some nice movement in it it kind of comes up and then in back and up and around and some nice nice branches so I thought I'd put that in a single single pot super excited wow this is exactly what I was hoping for um, you know I had a little bit of a different image of a hill coming down uh, with some orange uh, so maybe in the fall, you know, I, I, I take a bunch of leaves, chop them all up, and make it a little bit orange, sort of like an orange bank. Now, of course, I wanted it it's steeper, but um, this is what, exactly what I was going for. I wanted a clump style, or not clump style, sorry, a forest planting um, with this, I'm hoping it's trembling aspen, these white, nice white trunks. Um, you know, produce rather a smaller leaf. Um, usually it's quite a bit bigger, it's like about that size. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, you know, this is this is a bonsai pot that I had made um, uh, in the winter and so it's getting you know it's super thin uh, but works really well for this I'm really happy with the way the pot turned out now of course it doesn't quite sit on the the, the, the new bench that I put together but um, anyways I put a few rocks in here um, and I originally put the moss on to protect the roots because uh, there were some roots there coming up these are all really layered on top of each other um, and then I kind of got carried away with the moss and put it on. Now we'll see there's stellar jays all around here and they uh, they tend to come down and pick at it. So uh, we'll see how that see how that goes if they just pick it all off. Um, 
but yeah, so you know, as far as a planting style goes, uh, two, four, six, seven trees in here. Uh, this one I'm going to lean over a bit just because it kind of shoots back. They all kind of lean a little bit. There's a little bit of a flow this way, but mostly I want your eye to be drawn. And I wanted some of the bigger ones up front, uh, kind of a bigger one in the center. I had thought maybe it was kind of looking like I could put a couple big ones out here, uh, but it was it was just it just cluttered it up too much, and I couldn't quite get the roots perfect. Um, so it ended up being back a bit and I wanted a bigger one on the center versus off to the left uh, Although that would probably draw the eye and then it would carry down But this is again what I wanted was kind of a draw the eye right into the center tree here Bring you right into it uh, and then the hill will you know hopefully pull you down Although you could get pulled up by this one This one did have a, quite a curve on the side and I had it in that way and it really curved And so it kind of drew your eye there a bit and it just stuck out as, as too unbalanced so I kind of tilted it to kind of straighten it out so hopefully that doesn't happen too much but yeah the idea is you'll you'll get drawn in you know see the silhouette of the tree kind of get drawn in you know and there's some nice scars here to pull your eye and attention so this is a container I made actually I just made this on the ground so I just put the cement down and then just kind of uh, pinched up the sides so it's really quite quite thin um, you know, this is just one of the trees that came out. Uh, it was a big one. You know, I didn't keep much as far as branching branching goes. Uh, but I wanted to have sort of a bigger, you know, and there'll be some nabari under there. I just have it kind of packed in and out because I really want that tree to, to grow. So I put a little moss on there. Again, I have these Stellar's Jays as you can, well, maybe you'll see here. Yeah, it looks like he flew away. Um, but they'll pick they pick at this moss and they'll pick away at this moss so you know i'll try to stick some rocks on there as well um but yeah we'll see this is just one in development now i have seen so right here there's a little let's see i don't know if that'll focus in for you there little bud uh popping out the side so there might you know it could be there could be some other areas where some buds could pop out um so eventually i'll probably try to bring this down i'm not going to probably have the height of the tree where it is now um but yep, just another project I want to show you and uh, show you the cement pot. I really like this I, this this way of making it. It's super easy for one. Uh, I just mix the cement and then away you go. Um, but it also creates a really th shallow pot. Now of course it's not as smooth and as nice. It's not like a circular rounded pot, but uh, I like it for a thin one. Super excited. Man, I do I love these little poplars and just the white, the white bark. Just such a nice contrast. Um, so this one I just put in a, a container, uh, sort of a growing container. It had quite a big root. Those two were connected as one tree. Um, this is probably the biggest trunk I had gotten. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see that tree. Yeah. Last tree of the collect. Now this is um, this is definitely not a trembling aspen. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what this is. We'll have to just see as it, as it comes to life. Um, yeah, I planted this in one of my round containers. Again, this is one that I just uh, looped up uh, around a ball. Um, and uh, yeah, and so I kind of like this double trunk. You know, it was it was this under the dirt, was this much. So I started digging out and I, I saw that and it had some nice, I mean, this is lots of movement. There's a little bit of movement here. So, you know, maybe change the angle, uh, something like that, or not totally sure. 